Hello everyone, Rochelle MacDonald, welcome to my channel. I'm a grandmother caring for a severely disabled grandson who has Fox G1 syndrome. This syndrome is overwhelming, all encompassing and actually is incurable. It's one of a rare syndrome and our grandson is one of 500 in the world who has it. There are so many things that happen for this child and these children and adults for some. Um, one of the things that we have is lots and lots of equipment to support his needs, his physical needs. Um, I did a clip recently regarding his wheelchair and now I think I will continue that with the seating. The seating of his wheelchair is totally inappropriate is all I can say. You have to go with the skill of the people who are putting it together at the time and unfortunately it was decided by those who made that decision, i.e. the therapy team, that off-the-shelf cushioning would be suitable. Well guess what, it's not. It is absolutely extremely well made uh, very um, easy to look after uh, it is comfortable however it doesn't give him proper lumbar support it doesn't give him proper support when he's sitting it doesn't give him a pommel support so that he can sit up straight in an anterior position he has a lap sash which we tighten terribly every day uh, he can slip under that and that's part of that is because he's so thin He's also developing a slight, well, and actually quite a lot of a left list, which could possibly be from a scoliosis developing because of his fast growth rate. Yesterday, when I was checking him after a nappy change or pull-up change and ready, getting him ready for a bath, I noticed his right hip. Oh my God, I can't believe it. It's, it's just not right. Um, part of this is his growth. It's exceptional, extraordinary. He's off the percentile scale for his age, for height, and he's under the percentile scale for his weight. But my main concern is how and what is happening with him. When our grandson is sitting in his wheelchair, he, <laughs> he has hypermobility. Unbelievable when you see it. Um, and he can flick his legs around all over the place. But what it's doing, it's slipping him into a posterior position, which is in fact um, not supporting his back and creating more problems. So what's happening now is when he gets out of that wheelchair, he's stooped and bent over. This is a child who's 13. I, I'm so, so concerned. Um, he has AFOs and because of the stooping nature and also my concern for his right hip, I'm reluctant to put him in them now because they're very heavy. So this is just one of the concerns. It's a huge, major concern really, but the seating arrangement for his wheelchair, because it wasn't and hasn't kept up with his growth, and that could be part of the funding issue because funding is so difficult to um, access here. There's such a long process, and I mean long process, in getting it done. I can't fight the system, but really and truly, it needs to change. When uh, you have a young child who's developing at such a fast rate, his equipment needs to support him. I just don't understand how it works. This is Australia, 2019, and I can see this happening. It's, it's just not right. So, we, um, I'll keep you posted on this because really, it's so serious, uh, and possibly he's having a fitting later this week. Also, I am going to be taking him back to his um, orthopedic person as soon as I can get an appointment. So on this rather serious note today, I would like to say farewell today. Uh, please take care of yourselves. Make sure you're kept, you keep well. 
subscribe to my channel and give me a like. Okay, Rochelle McDonald saying goodbye for now.